Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Two Ordinary Guys video and this is me, Kyle. I'm a student paramedic at the University of Worcester in my second year. Um, if you guys have been checking out my journey for a long, long, long time, you wouldn't kind of know what the channel is all about. But if you're new around here, then me and my best friend Jacob decided to document our journeys uh, to the ambulance service. So starting off from college, working all the way up. Um, Obviously at university, we chose the University of Worcester through um, through our choices through UCAS. And we decided that there weren't many people that documented their journey for the ambulance service. You see, you know, medical students do it, doctors, you see nurses documenting their journey, but you never see anyone on YouTube, you know, documenting their journey. So I thought, I said to Jacob, it'd be a good idea. We both sort of put ideas through, we found a name, and then we're here. I, we're both in our second years now. Um, and on reflection of my first year, what I mentioned in your videos, if you have been following, if you haven't then definitely go and check them out. Um, but I said that I, I was disappointed that I didn't document more, so talk about more of my clinical skills, sessions and stuff like that. Uh, you know, talking about lectures, assignments, I mentioned a couple of my university results back that I did, but nothing really in depth. And I wanted to do that, I wanted to talk about more about the course, so you guys can take more more back out of it, more more from the, the videos. Um, I've had a lot of people come up to me and say these videos are really informative, um, but I know that I can make them more informative and that's what I wanted to do. So, what is planned for this week ahead? This is my first week back at university, which is really, really, really exciting. I'm really glad to be back. I'm in my new student house, which is amazing. So, I've had my first, I've had my timetable. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm quite poorly. Um, we've had our timetable for the year. Um, and I'm in Monday uh, PM, so I think it's 12.15, no, 1.15 till 4.15 are my clinical skills. I'm in um, Wednesday, which is my uh, law, what about the law side of it, and uh, we're talking about mental health and um, capacity, uh, all that sort of stuff is really exciting. I'll be talking about more of that in another video. And then Thursday is um, bioscience, so we're talking more about the anatomy. So Monday, which is today and I'm, this is the video that's going to be about um, we are going over tracheal intubation which is a skill that let's be honest it takes a lot of skill to do I think you need to do it 60 times um, to become competent um, you know to be actually classed as competent with the skill so it is a very difficult skill and it's something you don't get just by doing one skill uh, at university so I'm going to sort of reflect on how I did or how I found I did it and um, talk about you know what we did and the skill groups and stuff like that so um yeah before we go make sure you like and subscribe down below drop us a comment if you're going to university what you're studying at university um but um let's get into the video so obviously my what like i said my group size is um fifth there's normally 15 to 20 people in the group i think my group's about 17 people um on our monday group so it's very good because um uh, with clinical skills like this the teaching is we have two two lecturers in the um, in the clinical skills, so two lecturers to seventeen students isn't too bad. Um, so we're normally put into groups. We got put in groups of four with one dummy. Had all the equipment, so we went over the equipment. Obviously, the endoscope and all, uh, all the blades and stuff like that, and the bougie and all, all that sort of, sort of exciting stuff. And I went over it and so I had like a little feel of the equipment and getting used to what it does and taking bits out and putting it back in, so we get used to doing that um, and then we sat down had a lecture about um, you know like a sort of recap because we were set pre-reading um, prior to this so we had well it's about an hour pre-lecture our lecturer recorded the video going over the pat presentation that we had to follow and this is this is basically so when you're going into your lecture you're then not sat for a, a boring hour hours lecture when you basically want to be going on and doing it with the dummies because you could do that. You could do the hour boring lecture prior to that, and you could just go straight into it. So we had like a 15, 20 minute recap. If you didn't do the pre-reading, you were kind of lost. You didn't know that you didn't really know what was going on. Luckily, I did. Um, 15 minute lecture recap, and then we went straight on. So obviously, like I said, we had a look through, did all this, all the stuff, and then putting bits and bobs together. And then we went in our, in our groups of four. Got put in random so people didn't pick their friends, which was really good. I hate it when we get, have to pick our groups. You have to pick your friends, and then it's just. You, know, you end up messing around, so you you learn more if you pick random people. I always feel. Um, so we did that, um, and then we just went off, and and the lecture came round, and basically, so obviously, 
if you if you guys don't know the process, I'd, I'd recommend watching like a video about it. But I'm gonna put in some pictures now. Um, so that was me doing it. Uh, you kind of know the logistics if you are too lazy, like probably me, and don't want to watch the video on um, tricky intubation. But um, it is a very difficult skill. But obviously with the blade, so pretend this is a dummy here. You then have to go in without hitting the teeth. And if you hit the teeth, it makes this horrible like cracking noise. And the lecturer will come over and say, you "Hit the teeth." And obviously you can't hit the teeth. So in real life, so that's where the learning comes into. Is you have to get the right technique. And I think that comes with practice, basically. Um, so we did that, we went over for about an hour and a half, and you actually feel yourself... Jesus. You actually feel yourself getting, you know, getting better as, as time goes on, and I think it's just a skill you have to keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. Um, <coughs> so we went over, and then we went out, and then had a break, and then the lecturer, when we come back from break, has put all the mannequins on the floor, because basically we're doing it on the table, it was like, you know, the dummies that you get on the thing like that. Um, and then the lecturers put all the of the dummies on the floor. We then had to perform tracheal intubation with people that were stuck down the side of the toilets because, as you guys know, um, you don't always fall and go unconscious and go in cardiac arrest on a table. You're normally probably down the side of the toilet or somewhere that's not accessible. So we had to do that. Get you know get and then you had to ramp them up. So getting getting in the right position. Uh, if you guys don't know, you have to obviously you need to get a good airway. So if you're doing this, it's going to be difficult to get a tube and the bougie in there than if you're in a in what they call a drinking glass position. So your ears are in line, um, and it, it just makes it better because you get like a clear airway and you can see the epiglottis. Um, I always struggle with that word, um, the epiglottis, uh, which was really good. The reason why this skill was important and they kept practicing because for our assessment, so we have a formative assessment formative assessment next week on Monday which I will be practicing for and we have to try and get this skill so find the patient doing the tracheal intubation in 30 seconds so we need to get it quite quick basically which is obviously going to be quite difficult and it just comes to practice we get like a three hour session beforehand there's nothing you know nothing too scary you just show them that you just record the video and go show the lecture saying that I did it in 30 seconds and then you upload it to your pebble pad there's nothing like a, a you know summative exam so that should be interesting, and I'm, I'm quite looking forward to it actually. Uh, the lectures have been really good; they've been really, you know, useful. We've had two new lecturers join the University of Worcester, um, and they're absolutely fantastic. Very, very knowledgeable uh, with with the situation and with their profession. So it's it's quite it's quite exciting for the University of Worcester to have such amazing lecturers um, already here before and joining. So it was amazing. So that was my basic lecture really I feel as though I struggled at the start I kept hitting the teeth but I guess it's just about finding the technique like I said practice makes perfect um, I struggled getting the techniques I kept hitting the teeth instead you need to they call it up and away so you need to cut up and then away from you so it's like a, a skill that you need to basically practice on dummies and don't do it straight away on the road because you're not going to be competent at it so um, yeah I, I, I feel as though after a while I then I started to pick up from people, started to listen to lectures, and actually I did get used to it, and it shown. I you know I didn't do it in 30 seconds, but I was telling of people how to do it, sort of like helping others. So I, I got it in the end, um, and I do feel quite. I'm not say comfortable with it because you won't feel comfortable with it in one session, but I definitely feel more comfortable than what I did before the before the session. So I guess I have learned something, and it does feel good to learn something again back at university. Um, and it's great to back a clinical session. So, yeah, Monday, next Monday will be the assessment. So I'll keep you guys informed on on that one. Um, I'll let you know how I did. Um, but um, I guess this is the end for my first clinical skills session. If you're interested, I've set up an Instagram where I'm documenting my journey, like I'm doing this on YouTube, but it's kind of on my Instagram feed. So um, if you're interested, definitely go and check it out. It's student underscore paramedic underscore Kyle but I'll leave it in the description below if, if you want to go find that out I'd really appreciate the support um, obviously follow me on Instagram it's in the about section in, on the channel <coughs> obviously go and follow Jacob as well I've also got a second channel where I talk about more about my 
times where I go off and go to the theatre or stuff like that. Nothing really against university. Just portraying who I am outside of university really. So if you want to follow that, definitely go and check it out. But um, other than that, Wednesday is my first lectures back. So it's a first proper, you know, in the lecture hall going over, um, you know, Law, Mental Capacity Act, which is very important um, for the profession. And then Thursday, obviously, we're going over um, the renal system and stuff like that. So, exciting times. Um, but in the meantime, I'm Kyle. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope this video has been informative for you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.